Well, there's the feral sheep. There's one there. There's another one actually in the center of the frame at the moment, but more or less have to wait for it to move before you can see it. Might even be two there. No, no, there's only one. Well, it's interesting because yesterday I called my neighbour up and he came up here with his four wheel drive ute and his dogs and he found the sheep shit up here under the power line easement access gate underneath where the 132,000 volt power line runs from Armadale to Tenterfield. But he couldn't find the bloody sheeps. Whereas I found them first time when I came up here. I'll lay a bit they're running from these dogs. Oh, yeah, there's the other one. Sheep there in the centre. Sheep there in the centre. Sheep there in the centre. I'm 25 yards from the nearest. Hmm. There are days when I wish I brought the bow and arrow. Aha, spotted me. Go home. Go home or I'll call your boss and have the dogs called down upon you. Yep, there are times when it's easier to just bring the bow and arrow and put arrows into them. Well, at least there's only three. See, they've put that little stand of trees between them and me. They're very, very tactically cunning animals. And the fact that they've been camping up here uh, 600 metres from the hut and staying away from the hut means they're pretty strategically cunning too. They haven't been coming and planting their fresh sheep shit anywhere near my place. They've worked on the theory that I wasn't going to come and talk to them. Anyway, I can't catch them, so there's no point chasing them. I'll get on with me day. When I get back to the hut, I'll call their owner and tell him where they are. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Feral sheep incursion saga continues. Ciao.